Eichelin's second mini-album combines many of the previous singles they have been releasing, along with two new songs, attempting to breach into as many styles as they possibly can, finding occasional success, a few failures, and leaving with more questions than answers. Kickstart is a great intro to the album, but also just the summer in general, and I am the biggest freaking sucker for female pop rock, and yeah, while I know pop rock can be experimental and new, that really isn't everything I look for in this style of music. What I do look for is, are the instrumentals punchy and groovy? Do the vocalists sound like they're having fun? And most importantly, am I having fun? Yes, yes, and yes. Meme. I must have spent too much time on the internet, because the title for this song is so funny to me which is only accentuated by the fact that they somewhat lean into it in the lyrics, of which suffer from very heavy chorus blow. But given the song, I suppose that kind of makes sense. Draw feels like such a dichotomy of both sound and structure. I chillin don't feel like they should be on this beat. The ring around the Rosie's melody to the chorus feels cringe. It's like putting marshmallows into a stir fry. Both are great on their own, but together they just don't work. The Perry Perry sample on Alarm has me scared Dreamcatcher is not making enough money and is having to put their stuff out there for others to use in a way to keep afloat. Please don't disband girls, you've been at it a while and I still need you in my life. I didn't like this all that much when it was a pre-release single and, well, I can't really say it's grown on me that much. The chorus is about the best part of the track. Siren feels like it should be Craxies, but I'll take more heavy electronic influence music in K-pop. I can't say I like the chorus or many of the lyrics for this one to be honest. The more bubbly and bright vocals kind of contrast the more industrial and mechanical feel of the electronic sections, which kind of feels weird. Craxy, on the other hand, have much deeper and growly vocals, which allows them to blend into the style a lot more. This feels like an attempt to be Esfa or KDA, but they are not Esfa. While I do appreciate that iChillin is willing to experiment with their sound and try different things, this whole album feels like it was just thrown together as a pseudo reissue of the singles they have been releasing because sales were too low. The girls are trying to be too many things at once and they just can't, which isn't to their fault. Sometimes you only really fit one style and that's okay, but it takes a constant producer to know where you should be placed. I'm on it suffers from being too much of the wrong stuff. The biggest fault is that they've been put on tracks that they don't really fit with, which is much more the fault of the producers than it is any of the girls. As their vocal capability abilities are more than enough, they just need to find the right sound. Because of this, I unfortunately have to play some on it at a 58. Hopefully their next project is more structured, planned and cohesive, rather than being a collection of singles meshed together. If you're also looking forward to their next album, subscribe so you're notified when I upload my review of it.